gentlemen, boys and girls, perhaps can you all say Kia ora? Kia ora. Excellent. Kia ora, which means hello, welcome, greetings to you, our manuhiri from our visitors. Now, folks, my name is Kira here. I will be your host for the cultural performance, and on behalf of all of our families that live in the village, we'd like to thank you all for coming along and sharing your morning here with us. Now, folks, very shortly, my family will enter the stage. We are going to greet you this morning with a welcoming ceremony we call Te Pohiri. Now, you will hear the sounding of the Pumwana, the conch shell. Just to alert the tangata whenua, the people of the land, that you, our manuhiri, our visitors, have arrived. Following that, folks, one of our warriors will come out brandishing one of our most prized weapons, the kaiaha. You'll also hear a karanga, a welcoming cry uh, by one of our maidens. And then, folks, our family will enter the stage and we'll perform the haka pohiri. Now, in the haka pohiri, you will hear the Fai Kōrero, which is a welcoming speech by one of our senior warriors in our native tongue. Firstly, acknowledging the Lord above and our ancestors, and then welcoming each and every one of you here to our living village. We'll then move into a Pātere, an ancient chant, always done after a formal speech. And then finally, folks, an action song or way up the Ariva. Now, during our action song, folks, you'll see the lead, the shaking of the hand. Would you all like to try that, brother? Don't have a shake. Big smile. Now, can you all say, Willie? Willie. No, not Willie. Willie. <laughs> Roll the R. Willie. Willie. <laughs> now, the meaning of the Willie is to bring life to all our actions, okay? So, no matter what action we're doing, our hands are shaking. And watch the poop cutter, the big eyes. <laughs> yep, you see a lot of this in our program as well, especially in the hut. All right, folks. So on that note, folks, you are more than welcome to use your video cameras and take as many still shots as myself. As my family. And one thing that we do thrive on, folks, is lots of applause during each item. So folks, teach you my
Haere ki a Hawaii ki nui, Hawaii ki roa, Hawaii ki pā mā mā. Oh, ki mai ki a koutou e ngā manui tū ārangi, tū ārangi, ārangi, nau mai, piki mai, whakae ke mai. Haere mai koutou ki te whakare ware watanga te tūnga o te o pe tau wā wā ki ao. Ki te mātaki nei, te kapa o te pākira, e tū nei, e haka nei, e wata nei ki a koutou i tēnei wā. Nō reira, tītiro mai, whakarongo mai tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Hei oi! Tērā koia koti o reo, reo tērā koia koti o reo.
drop them now and then. <laughs> However, we're going to slow the pace down now, folks, to share with you New Zealand's most famous Māori love song, which is created through, through and here in to do it, the beautiful legend, and it tells of two of our illustrious <coughs> ancestors. Hene Moa, folks, a beautiful young chieftainess who resided on the shores of our lake Rokorua. And Titanakai, a handsome young warrior who was also well known for playing the Kōwowo, the fruit. Now, folks, these two ancestors met at a gathering one day and they fell instantly in love. But because of tribal and social differences, they were not allowed to be together. But as we know, folks, love will always find a way. <laughs> one night, Hinemore went down to the lake's edge to hear the sound of Tikarapai's Kowobo, or flute, as he played it on his part at home. Now she yearned to be with him, so she tied empty water calabashes around her waist for flotation. She then slipped into the dark, cold waters of Lake Kowobo, and she swam the three miles that it takes to get to his island home. Now she did eventually reach their folks, and because of that courageous swim, they were reunited. So, standing before you now, all our families that live in the village folks, we are all direct descendants. So right now, the beautiful love song, for Kare Karea. Kia ora.
Yeah, everything starting at the front. So following that after the show. Okay. So you know, alright. So. Uh, well, thank you. Behalf of our families, I'd like to say these few words in Maori. Mafia, Makoto, Yamana, Ipiaki. God bless you all and stay safe. Kia ora.